Tesla constantly upgrades and adds new features to their vehicles all the time. Often these changes are pretty minor and cosmetic in nature, but this is not the case with the 2022 Tesla Model Y. So let's dive into some of the significant changes and upgrades that Tesla has either already made to the Tesla Model Y recently, or changes that we expect to come in the very near future. One of the first big changes that I expect to see coming soon to the 2022 Tesla Model Y is an improvement in range and efficiency. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time rehashing information about the 4680 batteries and the structural battery pack information that you already know, but as a quick reminder, the Model Y 2.0 will include Tesla's new 4680 battery cells packaged into a structural battery pack, and these larger battery cells should greatly reduce the battery pack cost, will likely charge faster than current battery tech, and very importantly, have the potential to greatly increase the range and efficiency of the Model Y due to battery pack weight reductions. There are a large number of factors that influence just how efficient an electric vehicle is, but one of the really big important factors is vehicle weight. According to a white paper by Michael Bull that I found on the NHTSA website, quote, the range of a vehicle is dominated by the sizing of the battery. The next largest factor is vehicle mass, since about 30% of the energy is used to overcome the rolling resistance. So obviously, if you can lower the weight and thus lower the mass of a vehicle, especially an electric vehicle, that will help that vehicle have less rolling resistance, and thus it'll have to expend less energy per mile, and it'll be a lot more efficient. Based on my estimations, and I've gone over this in detail in past videos, but I fully expect that the new Tesla Model Y 2.0 structural battery pack with 4680 battery cells could have a specific energy density at the pack level of around 245 watt hours per kilogram. According to an official EPA document, the current pack level energy density of the Model Y is around 180 watt hours per kilogram. And based on what I can tell, it appears like the battery size in the current Tesla Model Y is somewhere around 82 kilowatt hours. Thus, if you do the basic math, the battery pack in the Model Y right now likely weighs around 456 kilograms or somewhere around 1,005 pounds. If this new structural battery pack that contains 4680 battery cells does indeed have a pack level energy density of around 245 watt hours per kilogram, that would mean that Tesla could produce that same size 82 kilowatt hour battery pack, but it would weigh around 121 kilograms or around 266 pounds less than the current pack. Now, while 266 pounds may not seem like a drastic weight reduction, I believe it's very possible based on data that I've looked into that a 266 pound weight reduction could lead to somewhere around a 5% range increase due to the lower rolling resistance. Thus, I believe it's very possible that Tesla with a new Model Y 2.0 could keep the battery size the same, lower the weight, and increase the range to somewhere around 345 miles on a single charge. Now, I know a lot of people have predicted that Tesla will bring out a 400 plus mile range Tesla Model Y in the future. And while that is possible, I don't believe they're going to bring out a Model Y that has more range than the Tesla Model X. It's more likely that Tesla is going to focus on producing as many Model Ys as possible. Thus, they're going to keep the battery pack around the same size. But as I've mentioned, it will be a lighter battery pack. Thus, it will still increase the range of the Tesla Model Y 2.0, even without having a larger battery pack. Another improvement that I expect that we'll see with this new structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells is an improvement in the performance aspects of the Tesla Model Y. The weight savings that I mentioned previously will also affect the performance of the Model Y as well. This is why there's a huge emphasis on weight reduction for track prepped vehicles and a new lighter weight Model Y performance, even with the same motors, should be a bit quicker than the existing version. In addition, at battery day, Tesla put up a slide that showed that the new 4680 battery cells have six times more power than the 2170 cells. And when Tesla talks about six times more power, they're talking about the current or amps. So depending on how these new 4680 battery cells are arranged in the structural battery pack, it appears to me like this new pack might have the ability to produce more power to the powertrain than the existing pack, which could lead to better performance with the Model Y in the future as well. 
In addition to range and performance gains, there's also the potential for Tesla to be able to reduce the price of the Model Y in the future because the new 4680 battery cells and the structural battery pack should make it cheaper to produce the new version of the Model Y. These new large format 4680 battery cells allow for fewer battery cells in each pack and thus fewer electrical connections, which greatly reduces the complexity of manufacturing. Reduced complexity helps reduce the cost of the batteries, and when you combine this with a number of other manufacturing improvements that have been made to the 4680 manufacturing processes, the cost of Tesla producing these 4680 batteries should be drastically reduced with time per kilowatt hour, and thus Tesla should be able to pass that savings along to the consumer and have a lower cost Model Y. Now, to be clear, I don't expect the Tesla Model Y price to drastically drop overnight when the new vehicle starts shipping. However, when you consider a future when both Gigafactory Berlin and also Gigafactory Austin are producing 4680 battery cells and the Model Y 2.0 at large scale, it comes to reason that the cost of the Model Y will come down with time. Now, beyond just the battery tech changes, there are a number of other changes that have either recently been introduced to the Tesla Model Y or that we expect to come soon. As pointed out in this Tesla Roddy article, and also as you can see in this image, the updated owner's manuals for the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 both give instructions for the operation of not only heated seats, but also cooled seats as well. So because of this update in the owner's manual, it sure appears like Tesla is about to introduce ventilated seats to the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3. When it comes to some additional improvements, a European Tesla forum recently shared that Tesla has submitted new Model 3 and Model Y variants to the European government for approval. Interestingly, these submissions revealed a number of improvements that will likely be included in the new Tesla Model Y 2.0, and here are a few of the notable improvements. As tweeted out by Tesla Scope in late December of 2021, Model 3s and Ys produced in North America now include a brand new infotainment computer with AMD Ryzen processors. This not only allows for a much better gaming experience, but also improves the responsiveness of the infotainment screen as well. Also, as tweeted out by Tesla Scope in late December of 2021, Tesla is now switching over to a lithium ion replacement for the old lead acid 12 volt battery formerly found in the Model 3 and the Model Y. This is actually a lot more significant of a change than it might seem because the old lead acid batteries found in the Model 3 and the Model Y would only last a few years before they needed to be replaced, and this new battery should last a lot longer. Another important change that is apparently coming is that the rear doors of the Tesla Model Y should be getting laminated glass. Although the front windows of the Model Y already have laminated acoustic safety glass, it appears like Tesla will be adding this safety glass to the rear windows as well. As a reminder, this new double pane glass not only reduces road noise, but it also increases the strength of the glass as well. Another interesting potential change that is mentioned by this European Tesla forum is the addition of a radar sensor for the interior of the vehicle. As reported by this Drive Tesla Canada article, earlier this year, Tesla was granted approval by the Federal Communications Commission to install millimeter wave sensors in their cars. As for their use, this article also mentions that the radar sensor would improve theft prevention systems by having a six foot security range outside their vehicles and by detecting broken windows and vehicle intrusions. Another change that could be coming to the Tesla Model Y in 2022 was mentioned by Green The Only on Twitter. In October of 2021, Green The Only on Twitter tweeted out the following images and said, Interesting images surfaced in firmware that seem to portray air suspension on Model 3 and Model Y for UI display purposes. Because of this, it appears like Tesla could be adding air suspension to the Model Y in the future. Another change that Tesla plans to make with the Model Y, at least the ones produced at Gigafactory Berlin, are improvements in the paint. As Elon Musk said on Twitter in April of 2020, Giga Berlin will have the world's most advanced paint shop with more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. Also, earlier today, Sawyer Merritt on Twitter gave some timing confirmation to some of the changes we previously mentioned. And this applies to Fremont and Shanghai built Model 3s and Model Ys, and the transition for these new changes should be completed by Q2 2022. This confirms the AMD processor and also the lithium ion low voltage battery. 
and in addition mentions a feature called heated wiper park, which helps unfreeze wiper from the lower section of the windshield. The last change that I want to mention is something that I fully expect will come in 2022, and that is a rear wheel drive version of the Model Y with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. In January of 2021, Tesla made a standard range rear wheel drive Model Y available in North America, and then in late February of 2021, they quickly discontinued it. However, in Tesla's Q3 2021 investors conference call, Tesla mentioned that they would be shifting to lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry for standard range vehicles globally. Because of this, I believe that Tesla could bring back a rear wheel drive Model Y with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. And if this new rear wheel drive Model Y has the same size battery pack to what is available in China right now, it could have an EPA estimated range over 260 miles. Do let me know what you think in the comments section below. Are there some changes that were recently made that I missed? Or are there some changes that you expect in the future? In addition, if you're interested to see how the Model Y compares to the other electric SUVs that are currently available on the market right now, you can go over to cleanerwatt.com and purchase a copy of the 2022 Electric Vehicle Buyer's Guide. In that buyer's guide, you'll find a number of comparison charts, articles, and also full vehicle write-ups for the electric SUVs that are available right now, and also a number of write-ups for those vehicles that are coming in the future, 2023 and 2024. Once again, you can go over to cleanerwatt.com and purchase a digital copy in magazine format of the 2022 Electric SUV Buyer's Guide. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.